Now let's see this problem. Here, five uh, options are there. If x is less than y, x is less than equal to y, greater than y, greater than equal to y, or equal to y. And uh, we can find out the value of x from this and the value of y from this. x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So factors will be x plus 2, x plus 3 is equal to 0. That meant x is either minus 2 or minus 3. Similarly, from here, y plus 3, y plus 4 is equal to 0. So y is equal to minus 3 or minus 4. So if we have to compare between x and y, what is happening over here? x and y, in one case x and y are equal, right? And in other case x is greater than y, right? So precisely x is greater than or equal to y. In one case x is greater than and other case x is equal to y. So x is greater than equal to y. So this will be the correct choice. Okay? Similarly, we can see this. Just factorize it. It's uh, x minus 11. x minus 9 is equal to 0. So x is 11 or 9. Here, y minus 8 y minus 9 is equal to 0. So y is equal to 8 or 9. Again, once x and y, uh, both of them are equal, when x is 9, y is 9, and uh, definitely x is greater than y. So again, x is greater than or equal to y. Because if x is 11, y is maybe 8, maybe 9, but x is greater. And if x is 9, in that case, y is 9, that can be taken. Okay, so x is definitely greater and uh, sometimes equal to y. So x is greater than or equal to y. Okay, so this sort of questions can be solved very easily. I'm not go going to solve all the questions. The same logic will work over there for all the questions. Okay.